This video is dedicated to the Acropolis and the Parthenon, a UNESCO World Heritage Site. The Parthenon and Acropolis in Athens has come to symbolize Greece and democracy. It has come to represent the amazing accomplishments of the ancient Greek thinkers such as Socrates, Plato, and Aristotle. In Western civilization, the Acropolis is an enduring reminder of the Greek legacy and the glories of classical Greece. In man many major Greek cities, they had their Acropolises as religious centers, places of worship, community centers, forts, and palaces. An Acropolis is created from the Greek words akron, meaning highest point, and polis, meaning city. Other famous Acropolises in Greece include Larissa and Argos, Cadmia and Thebes, Acrocorinth and Corinth, and the Acropolis of Lindos and Rhodes. The hill was inhabited by the 4th millennium BC. The armies of Xerxes I destroyed the Acropolis during the second Persian invasion of Greece between 480 and 479 BCE. Heracles in the 5th century BCE constructed most of the Acropolis. After winning the Eurymedian during the 468 BCE, Simon and Themenes ordered the reconstruction of the southern and northern walls of the Acropolis. Most of the major temples, including the Parthenon, were rebuilt by order of Pericles in the Golden Age of Athens between 460 and 430 BCE. Phidias, an Athenian sculptor, Ictinus and Calicrates, two famous architects, were responsible for its reconstruction. We see here the Propylia. During 437 BC, the architect Menescales started building the Propylia as part of the Periclean building program. A monumental ceremonial gateway to the Acropolis of Athens with Doric columns of pentelic marble. These colonnades had two wings, the northern one dedicated, decorated by paintings by Polygnathus. Behind the Propylia would have been the Phidias's gigantic bronze statue of Athena Promachius, or the Athena who fights in the fight line. Built between 450 BCE and 448 BCE, it dominated. The base was four feet high, while the total height of the statue was 30 feet high. The goddess held a lance, the gilt tip of which could be seen as a reflection by crews on ships rounding Cape Sonon, and the giant shield on the left side decorated by Minas and the images of the fight between the centaurs and the lapis. Here we see the Temple of Athena Nike. The Temple of Athena Nike is dedicate, dedicated to the goddess Athena and Nike. It was built around 420 BCE, and the temple is the earliest fully iconic temple in the Acropolis. The sheer walls of its bastion were protected on the northwest and south by the Nike parapet, named for its trees, Nike, celebrating victory and sacrifice. Uh, sacrificing to the patroness Athena and Nike. Nike was the goddess of victory in Greek mythology, representative of being victorious in the war. The citizens worshipped the goddess in hopes of a successful outcome in the long Peloponnesian War fought against the Spartans. The Parthenon is a temple dedicated to the goddess Athena in the 5th century BC. It was de its decorative sculptures are the high points of classical Greek art, the Parthenon replaced an older temple of Athena that was demolished in the Persian invasion of 480 BCE. The Parthenon was built to commemorate the Hellenic victory over the Persian Empire and invaders during the Greco-Persian Wars. The Parthenon also served as a city treasury. Construction started in 447 BCE and completed in 438. It was the treasury of the Delian, Delian League of the Athenian Empire, and the Parthenon was converted into a Christian church dedicated to the Virgin Mary. After the Ottoman conquest in the 15th century, it became a mosque. And, it, and in 1687, the, after and during the Marian War, the nation bomb landed on the Parthenon, which the Ottomans used as mission stone and severely damaged the Parthenon. Since 1975, numerous large-scale restoration projects have been undertaken at the Acropolis to preserve remaining artifacts and ensure structural integrity. Here we see the old Temple of Athena, between 529 and 520 BCE, the old Temple of Athena, also known as Archaeos Naos, the Doric Temple of Athena Polius was built on the Doric foundations between the Erechtheum and the Parthenon. The old Temple of Athena stood on the central Acropolis terrace in the late Archaic period. The Archaeos Naos was destroyed during the second Persian invasion of Greece during 480 to 479 BCE. It was reconstructed in 454 BCE but then burnt down during 406 and 405. In 1886, the discovery of the building foundations between the Erechtheum and the Parthenon confirmed the existence of the Old Temple of Athena. And adjacent to the Old Temple of Athena is the Temple of Erechtheum, 
which is lined with six iconic columns and a porch supported by female figures or caryatids. The eastern part of the temple was dedicated to Athena Polius, while the western part serving the cult of the archaic king Poseidon Heraclius. It housed the altars of Hephaestus and Voltos, brother of Heraclius. The temples of Athena Polius, Poseidon Heraclius, Cecrops, Hers, Pentros, and Augurus, at, with its four porch or the porch of names or periodic balcony were in this space. Here we see the Pendrosian. The Pendrosian is a sanctuary dedicated to Pendrosius, who made one of who was one of the three daughters of the first king of Athens, or, uh, of Athens, Cecrops. Pendrosius was the first priestess of Athena Polius, the patron goddess of Athens. In mythology, Cecrops had the head and torso of a man and lower body of a snake. He judged the contests between Poseidon and Athena that dedicated the naming and patronage of the city. The Pendrosian is, the, uh, is on the spot where Athena and Poseidon competed for the patronage of the city. The sacred olive tree was sprung when Athena struck her, um, the rock with her spear, giving her victory. The salty spring, which appeared when Poseidon struck it with his trident, and the tomb of the king Cecrops, who was the judge of the contest. The olive tree in the sanctuary today was planted in the 20th century in memory of Athena's sacred tree. The Temple of Rome and Augustus. This is a small building attributed to the Temple of Rome and the Roman Emperor Octavian Augustus. The architectural members indicate that the Temple of Rome and Augustus was of the iconic order, circular and monoptural. The construction of the temple is associated with the architect who repaired the rectian in the Roman period. It is statues of Rome and Augustus. It is the sole Roman temple on the Acropolis and the only Athenian temple dedicated to the emperor. They created it to honor Octavian Augustus. The Theater of Dionysus. The Theater of Dionysus is an ancient Greek theater in Athens. It is built on the southern slope of the Acropolis Hill, originally part of the sanctuary of Dionysus Eleutherus or Dionysus the Liberator. It was constructed ar around the mid to late 6th century BCE. The theater reached its fullest extent in the 4th century BCE under the apestates of Lyc Lycurgus when it would have been had a capacity of 25,000 spectators. It was in continuous use until the Roman period. The theater, however, fell into decay in the Byzantine era and was not identified, excavated, and restored to its current condition until the 19th century. The Odeon of Herodotus Atticus. The Odeon of Herodotus Atticus was donated to the city of Athens by the famous order, sophist, and benefactor. It was used for musical events and philosophical lectures. Its semicircular cavea has a diameter of 250 feet or 76 meters and contained 39 rows of marble seats that could host 6,000 spectators. The marble paved orchestra is also semi-circular and has a diameter of 62 feet or 19 meters, and the rectangular proskion had a wooden floor 5 feet or 1.5 meters above the orchestra. It's 115 feet or 35 meters long, and its facade projects 26 feet or 8 meters in front of the south wall of the concert hall. It has a stage of, luxuri of luxurious mosaic. The monument had a root of cedar wood. The Odeon was connected to the Stoa of Menes for the spectators to see the theater of Dionysus. The Odeon was burned down, however, by uh, Herulians in 267 CE, and it was incorporated as a Roman fortification and remained in use until 1887. In 1877. Here we see the Hill of the Muses of Philopapus. The highest of the three hills west of the Acropolis took the name from the poet Oes, who lived, taught, and was buried on it. It was a shrine to the Muses. The towering and commanding position of the hill served as a stronghold of the Athenians against the Amazons and was later used as a strategically significant fortification in military operations. The Athenians of the 5th century BCE included the hill in the Demosthenian defense works. In 294 BCE, Demetrius Poliocrates incorporated into the old walls a small fortress known as the Macedonian Fortress and installed a garrison to control the city. Built of pentelic marble on a porous stone base, it has a frieze of Philopapus and a chariot and a retinue of rod bearers, and the upper niches showed the enthroned Philopapus of Basa, son of Pythias. Here we see Hadrian's Library. Hadrian's Library was created by the Roman Emperor Hadrian in 132 AD. 
On the north side of the Acropolis, it followed the typical Roman form architectural style with one entrance and a propylion of Corinthian order. A high surrounding wall with protruding niches on its long sides and an inner courtyard and an oblong pool in the middle. The library was on the eastern side where rolls of papyrus books were kept. Adjoining halls were used as reading rooms and the corners served as lecture halls. The library was seriously damaged by the Berlian invasion of 267 and it was repaired by the prefect Heraclius in AD 407 to 412. During Byzantine times, several churches were built here. Another church, the Agios S. Scalia, was built, and a statue of the goddess Nike Victoria was on the site. Here we see the Planca. The Planca is the old historical neighborhood of Athens, clustered around the northern and eastern slopes of the Acropolis. It had labyrinthine streets and neoclassic architecture. The Planca was built on top of residential areas of the ancient town of Athens. It, it was known as the neighborhood of the gods due to its proximity to the Acropolis and its many archaeological sites. I hope you've learned a little bit more than, than, than you knew before about the Acropolis and, and the Parthenon. Be sure to check out my, my webpage for other places I've traveled to. Thank you and have a great day.